Okay, great. So we're saying, okay, so we talked about the meeting thing. Um, so let me just try to get this stuff down. Um, and then you said there's people asking questions. A lot of questions are in the docs. Classic open source problem. <laughs> right. Um, so so what, what the uh, the solution could be, like we could be using DFFML itself to write a bot. I love which it. Actually, which, which actually queries our data, our uh, documentation. I love it. But not, not, not in a keyword. Uh, like it should be a semantic search uh, using mm -hmm. some model or something, a Q&A model. So, so I was actually working on a small site project, mm -hmm. which is uh, called PyQ&A. Still, uh, it, it has not been published to PyPy cool. yet, but like I have some, uh, uh, I'm just building something that would be like, uh, you know, you can just import from it and uh, then give it a context, give it a question and it will find the answer. Great, that. great. Not, not, not a generative type, but uh, yeah. But but you know like straight question answering out of did the... did have you seen the stuff that Himanshu did? Did you already look at that? Uh, nope. I okay. Taken a look. Yeah, I would say take a look at because um, there is there is some work that was done by Himanshu um, to let me see let me just pop open uh, get log dash p or. Oh, wait, that actually happens to be the commit I was talking about. Oh. Uh, okay, model transformers, model transformers. Come on, transform. Oh, no, did we take out model transform? Oh, we took out model transformers. That's yes, what happened. We don't have transforming models. Okay. Um, yeah, there's an ink there, transformers. So there was an incompatibility with the API, the TensorFlow API or something. And I think we ended up taking this out. Yeah, so we need to, we can put it back in eventually, but we haven't, uh, I think it, it it was, there was an underlying dependency that, that, or no, we just haven't updated the APIs to work with the new stuff. But there is some code in here that does question and answer stuff. Um, where's the examples? QA. Okay, yeah, so what do we have? Are there docs here too? No docs. QA model. Maybe QA integration might be easier. Or we'll bolt and bolt. Um, so, and I mean, I'm sure you, you may be already well on your way to this, but there is some stuff that's here. Um, yeah, with some question and answering stuff. Yeah, um, this kind of stuff deployed yeah. in a bot would be Yeah, really nice. exactly. Actually, where is the... Oh, man, no, we don't have... What did we do for that? Uh, we do have an example don't on we have the something? Uh, get, getter bot. Yeah, the getter I, bot. I, what happened with that? It's an examples. Um, where is it? Uh, where did the getter bot stuff go? I thought it was on the note of while we are talking about Getter, yeah. I wanted to ask like, uh, is is there some reason we prefer Getter? Like a lot of projects prefer. Getter. Oh, you know, you you prefer what? Uh, the third thing is that Getter doesn't have any channels, sort of thing. Like yeah, are you thinking Discord it's... or something? Uh, yes, there is an option. Yeah. Uh, actually, this Discord is like sort of proprietary. We yeah. could go for something similar. There is a very nice Discord clone. I just saw Rocket Chat. Yeah. We taken a. Have you, have you taken a look at Rocket Chat? Uh, yeah, what I mean, that that has been around for a while. Um, yeah, yeah, um, they've definitely gotten a lot farther. So, so I we mean... we can sort of spin up our own instance. It is like yeah, the so that of Discord. Infrastructure. So let's think about project infrastructure as well. Um, okay, so... Okay, so uh, for long running or for constant for non GitHub actions. Okay. Okay, so 
let's look up rocket chat so um yeah I, they've they've come a long way so what so they oh yeah they've definitely come a long way they're, um, they're pretty polished like no yeah if you saw it a few years ago it it's, yeah i saw it a few years ago when they first just came like out linux it. mint's site yeah linux mint's website like changed in a day <laughs> oh really nice. yes i haven't seen them recently either i used to run this they now look like oh wow the, uh, yeah they stuff. look all professional <laughs> now yeah well, good web design will really change things so is this so so okay so the thing is what so what's let's talk about self-hosting because um you know that always becomes sort of a uh, it's always a thing so uh let's do you know a possible other options so other other uh, by, while we're listing things let's list yeah. one to a couple of more things one thing is that i talked to a lot of uh, graphic designers mm -hmm. uh, on on here and there like mm -hmm. loose talk not not exactly talking about dffml but the thing is that uh, for for look for asking someone professionally to design a logo mm -hmm. it is like uh, it, it involves money yeah 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 <laughs> so, and so, I, so graphic designers are not into uh, you know like open yeah. source and community driven stuff yeah they are like I need money. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. Um, so let's see. October fifth. All right. Yeah. So and I saw we had some options for a logo up there. I think yes, that like they wish an, they wish is an exceptional designer. He doesn't ask for that. So yeah. Let's see. He's here in meeting also right now. I yeah. Yes. Hi, Devish. Uh, let's see where the logo should go. Hi. Hi. Yeah, is this was this you that had posted these ones down here? Yes, this was you. Let's see. Yeah, thanks for doing these logo designs. So, should we keep this? Um, so, there's there's really you know we could we could pick one that we have, or I was kind of thinking that we might just leave this as an open thing to give us all more time to you know I like. For example, Yash had done something, but then he thought, oh, maybe I'd like to tweak it before we put it up here, you know? And I know you did a bunch of them, Devesh, um, but you might think in two weeks from now that maybe you have a better yeah. idea, right? So I think there's something to be said for us maybe leaving this open until right before the beta and then doing a decision right then, right? I, do people have strong feelings about picking it sooner or is that... Um, is that something that you guys think is, is a good idea to wait on? I think picking up on later is a good idea because we would have more time. It is nothing like we cannot do overnight. It is okay. like something we can do in a minutes. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as we can all vote in the meeting, like right before, you know, right before whenever we do maybe right, the beta release, we could vote in the meeting and then we just, you know, go with that. Right. I don't, there's, we don't currently have it anywhere. Right. So it's, it's basically mm -hmm. going to be like, where do we add it rather than where do we need to go change it? So from that perspective, I think it'll be an easy, you know, decision that and act on right um so so the, the last thing i wanted to list was that yeah. that uh, keeping the context open one oh yeah okay yeah so so i i understood that like we if we already have a context inside we don't need to again enter the context of the context it is not possible so, so that that's why if it is not if it is a model instance, then we are entering the context. Otherwise, it is a context instance. I'm directly assigning it to model context, and that seems to work. Uh -huh. uh, but I don't know if it is the right way to go or not because that example works with it. Like the fix I pushed, the example you shared. Let's see. Let me see. I didn't see what you pushed. Um, could you send a link in the Gitter or something? Let's see. Yes. Mm. Um. I just just dropped it on Gitter. Okay, so yeah, and I'm sorry I haven't had much time for things lately. I got sick and I my work was very hectic, yes, yes. but I've got a lot I more just time got now. that. I also saw your uh, GitHub status drowning in the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Great. Okay, I must not have seen this. Um, let's see, so context can be kept open, sweet. Okay, so, yeah, I think this is what was missing here. Um, 
Okay, and then this is the model. So we still, let's see, so we've instance model, model context, then model context. Yeah, I, I believe this is what was missing. Um, so. It, it's a simple fix, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a simple yeah. fix, but I think we also need, I think it's more than just the models. Was there an issue with the sources as well? I think. Yo, records to sources, no, maybe because records to sources handles that. Um, let's just go check this out. Wait a minute, records to sources and now in somewhere else. Where is it? Probably util. Uh, high level source. Okay. Wait, that's that's a lie. It's not that. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. It's internal. Okay. So does it do it here to sources context? Okay, that looks good. Uh, sources dot append sources. Okay. So then does the already open? What is this? Let's see. I know I wrote this. I'm sorry. We're going through it right now, but I just want to make sure that this doesn't have the same bug. Um, let's see. So sources, append, base source, source context, and then we append. And so any, okay. So basically go through, oh, okay. So we add, well, okay. We just add them once we do the open. Okay. So that's how we handle it here. Otherwise we open them. Okay, I think we're good on sources then. Um, and then accuracy scores were there. Is there an issue with accuracy scores? Um, so for accuracy, I think we have the same issue for accuracy scores. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll need the if is instance on the accuracy scores to fix this completely. Um, okay, can, can you just this, drop a note there, sort of, like I can refer yeah, to it? Yeah, this would have, this would have done, this would have raised, but, all right, yeah, so let me just put it on that pull request. Thanks for, thanks for taking this one. Um, let's see, so actually score, I don't think I can comment here, can I? No. Nope. All right. Um, Uh, uh, accuracy context. All right, I think that should be it. All right, great. So we'll just do, you'll do those changes and then I think we are good to go. Let's see, and then ACTX. All right, and then I ran into, okay, so, all right, so let's make sure, okay, let's make sure we have everything in the notes here. So the last thing was, okay, so PR, so, um, this was the uh, context, keeping context open. All right, and then that, okay, so. Uh, I'm, I'm missing one more thing, but actually yeah, I let's just run git clean fd something, and it, it, instead of showing me what it would remove, it just removed everything. Oh, it removed, no. it removed my. <laughs> Uh, it removed my meeting notes. Also. Oh no! Well, how about the? Um, have you done the? Uh, you know how to look in the garbage collector. Um, get move untracked files or wait, get. Um, I, I saw that, but it shows that it it just unlinks it, so you cannot get it. Is it's it sure? possible to get it? There is. There might be a way to get it. Let's see. Um, and do clean. I know I've, I've, no, I've done this before. Um, sometimes, no, no, great. Yes, I, I read this in first. It's no. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it was like just some meeting notes, but I guess I have covered most of it. Okay. Or, oh, okay. You didn't do a git add. Yeah, that's usually always mm -hmm. the case. So. Okay, yeah, this is, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, not I don't know. Dude, you're not grabbing your hard disk here. Yeah, let's not let's not turn off the computer. Uh, okay, so Devesh, um, let's see. Uh, let's so you added a logo. Um, so added some logo. Added logo options. Is any other updates on your side or anything you wanted to talk about this week? Yes. So um, I wanted to like create a, a landing page for DFFML. All right. So, um, like for other application, like you just opened for Rocket Chat. Yeah. I wanted to create something like a introductory page. So Sweet. For now, uh, DFFML has a documentation which is quite detailed. So I wanted to make it look more attractive, kind of like, ha, huh, yes. Wow. All right. That thing. sounds great. Yeah. That sounds great. So, I started uh, to uh, like create some iteration. Like <laughs> it's just the first step I have taken. So yeah, uh, I'll if you, if you give me a green flag, I'll start working on let's, the landing. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. I'm I'm sure. I mean, it sounds it sounds like you know what you're doing. So uh, let's and and you know we can always that's the whole thing. We can always tweak it, right? Um, so let's, yeah, let's, let's do it. So how are you, how, how are you planning on designing it then? Like, what is your, what are you going to be using react or, or how do you, how do you go about that? No, so I'll be, I'll not be developing it. I'll create, uh, I'll make the designs on Figma okay. only. Oh, great. Great. Okay, yeah. great. Cause then we can make sure that it integrates with the rest of the stuff that we already have there. Um, so you'll, you'll do the layout and then, um, so you you do the layout, you do the design, right? Make it so. How do we? How? Okay, okay, yeah. So you you go through to do the design, and then we would you know pick a framework and then implement it to look like that. Does it give you things yeah. like CSS and stuff that we could use? Uh, I think there are tools like Zapier uh, that I would like. We can export the Figma design into CSS code, and the uh, okay, developers sweet. can. Uh, I have not used them as of like uh, like uh, an advanced mode like uh, but I have known some people using uh, some plugins to okay. export the figma designs great yeah and I'm not sure if we need that I'm just really you know I'm entirely unfamiliar so I guess you know if you do you want to just demo that for us when you when you've got you know some I mean you can demo at any stage right but I guess if you if you have something yes. do you have something you want to show today at all or you just um, in the, um, like in the I future, think I just whatever. Have like a, um, I just have like a, I'll show you. Sweet. A simple page as of now, nothing of a big progress. I just started it out last cool. week, and I was just trying some layout, coloring, yeah, and definitely, some fonts and etc. It's completely blank right now, but I will try to. Uh, but yeah, this is what you're building on, yeah. Yes. Sweet, sweet, very cool. So yeah, this will be great. This will be great because I think that definitely gives a more professional feel. Like we were just saying with yes. Rocket Chat, they definitely look a lot more professional than they used to. And this, the landing page is a big part of that. So yes, that's great. Um, yeah, I wonder. So I mean, do you guys have any ideas of stuff that would be good content to put on here? So because, for example, you know, Rocket Chat has a few. <laughs> features right all of our stuff is pretty code based right now right but we could you know maybe think about this like and they have things where it's you know little snippets of code some places and then uh like you know pictures of their app other places you know those might be places where maybe we would show maybe we could show like a little bit of output or a sample program and then and maybe one day we might change that to a screenshot of the web ui or something is there anything that comes to mind that would be good landing page features that we should put i think like the key usps of dffml like why to use it yeah and uh, what's and how's of dffml mm -hmm. and like you said the code snippets and the outputs okay cool uh, we can, uh, do as many things as we want like so, feedback testimonials etc yes so i wanted to say a couple of things here that is like uh, most of the people uh, feel that UI is a more appealing part of a project for most of the users mm -hmm. than the CLI part or, or, yeah. or the, that that kind of stuff. So we can always put code snippets, but if we have a good UI to show like how it 
mm-hmm. how easy it is to show, uh, how it, uh, easy it is to build data flows, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, like uh, the mm-hmm. Perceptive Labs website or the those a couple of websites are shared on that web UI issue. Yeah. Oh those yeah, were, the, those are good inspirations for landing pages. Mm-hmm. Other other than that, I think that uh, we, I I guess we had a meeting. Uh, I had a meeting with Devish last week when when our last meeting was cancelled. So cool. so we we actually talked about uh, guys... uh, that uh, Devish needs a kind of uh, description yeah. of the yeah, design. Mm-hmm. So he'll, he'll he'll tell you about it. So cool. I, I think that we need to provide him to. Uh, build a proper flow. So great. Right. Like, yeah. So uh, uh, like as of now, like uh, where I work, they provide me a product requirement documentation (PRD), uh, wherein they uh, mention all those features that I would be able to implement it, them directly into Figma. So okay. kind of what I needed was some kind of input that I can con- uh, like converse myself into designing it. So. Uh, what was the PRD? Product requirement requirement wow. documentation. Documentation. Okay. Um, Maybe if we can show him that flowchart and how it works and all stuff that you explained me, that would be really helpful, friend. Oh yes, sure. This this I'm just trying to find some information on it. So let's see. Yeah, if you've got something. So like when uh, when we have something to design, first mm-hmm. of all, we create a PRD, product requirement documentation, wherein uh, I have all those. Uh, so I have this like problem, the problem okay. what we have currently, then definition of the uh, pro- solution that we are going to provide then the okay. solution. And then I don't need all these wireframes. I will do it myself. But mm-hmm. just the uh, overall uh, prescri- uh, description of what is needed from my side. Okay. That would be like just a great uh, heads up for me to start with the design part. Okay. And then once I have the PID, I'll start working on the flow. So for example, we have like one endpoint. Then how does the flow works? How does mm-hmm. the user uh, proceed after uh, from like from this feature to this feature, uh, what all things he can do from this feature, then how okay. he can uh, change the basically the flow user flow. Okay. So when when I have this, uh, I don't need this flow. I just need a requirement a documentation, very n- very brief, not quite detailed, okay. uh, which would just help me convert the idea of DFFML into a UI stuff that I can work on. So okay. once we have that documentation, I will jump to the user flow and after okay. user flow like i'll take help from documentation and sahil and to understand the user flow and after uh, like creating the user flow i'll directly jump into creating the screens okay very cool very cool all right so we probably need to um we probably need to start a so let's see i'll put let's see this is like a adr yeah. user interface yeah exactly that's okay. exactly what it is yeah so let's uh, make an adr for this okay and i was thinking you know about the adr stuff let's see where's my uh, origin master okay so uh Okay, so ADR user interface. Um, oops. Yeah, so this se- yeah this seems like an ideal candidate for an ADR. Um, oh, and I was thinking oh this is what I was gonna say. So I was your thinking, your screen is not shared. Oh, thank you. Um, I was thinking when we do the ADRs and we need to here we can write an ADR for this. Um, we should probably name them as I was taking a hint from some of the. PyPy stuff, and I found that um, naming them. Oh, come on, do we have a template in here? No. Okay. Um, docs arch. So naming them is like zero 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 the first time, like when you're working on it. Um, um, 
that that helps like that 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 helps the uh, PR process because then basically you do the rename at the end right so you'd add it to the index um, and you'd say you know zero 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 writing ADRs and then when we do the PR and once we approve it uh, that way if we have multiple PRs in flight that are all ADRs um, then we don't end up with like a clash um, on the number we just change the number right at the end and then push it um, I think yeah because I noticed there's there's it's kind of hard to figure out which number you should name it you know because if somebody writes another one at the same time then somebody else has to change their number so um, one strategy so let's see um, I don't know do did any any thoughts on that or maybe that's not the best idea Maybe ADRs are not the, not very fast moving, so we don't write it too many ADRs. So yeah, should it be a problem actually? Like yeah, maybe it won't be a problem. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, oh, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can always just there's really no there's really not much of a difference from accidentally picking the wrong number and then naming it to the right number versus always naming it from zero. That sort of makes there always a rename problem. All right, so let's just forget I said that. Um, so. Okay, so we need to get an ADR started. So, um, so does anybody feel str so I can start working on this? You know, I can post a few things. Does does any do, does anybody feel like Sahil? Do you have? Is this something that you feel strongly that you might want to do, or otherwise I can do it? Because I know you got a lot on your plate, but I know you also probably have some some ideas for this. Uh, maybe maybe you can lay the foundation, and then okay. I can put the primer on it. That sounds like that. good. That sounds good. So John will start. Um, okay, great. And we have these are RST files, so we can write mermaid diagrams. Because because no one has better high level overview on. Yeah, on I probably have the like most. What all we need to cover. Background. Yeah. We can always fine tune the details, but. Yeah, I think I think there's. A, I've definitely got a lot of background. I also have sort of like you know, a tendency to have a certain viewpoint on things and then maybe not design the ideal flow. But I'll try to get the ideals down there. And then I think Devesh, yeah, if you work on the flows, then you probably have the best, you know, you definitely have the best sort of UX experience for that. Um, so hopefully that, 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 that will avoid any sort of like preconceived notions of what the flow should be that is not actually as, as, as helpful as what it should be. So, uh, so I'll say, you know, you'll work on this after we have the ADR, um, until then, until then, uh, landing page, right? Yeah, that's right. Sweet. Cool. Um, sweet. Okay. So keeping the PR open patch. Did anything else from your side? No. Nothing great. Else. Cool. Look, this is great. Um, so we got the keeping context open. Okay. So let's go back and say, okay. So here we had the model transformers code. So this may be helpful for this. QA stuff. I don't know how far had you gotten on this. You can see in uh, one of the uh, repos on my profile right now. All right. It is public. It is uh, yeah. The there we go. Long number after that. <laughs> Let's see. It's by Q and A. By Q and A. Yeah, there we go. One. So, so it is like by Q and A. Right now we have models. Models. There are no tests. Actual, actual tests. Yeah, but there is an example in test, right? Okay. So maybe in the test would be a good idea. Yeah, test examples. Isn't it might not oh, have? Yeah, yeah. The, the reading comprehension folder. The reading okay. comprehension folder is test from. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and this is so transformer QA model. Okay, great. So basically, it builds upon the uh, th this this type of transform models builds upon the uh, hugging face models. So you can actually just pass any of the pre trained hugging face models and use their. I believe uh, that is very similar to what we had with model transformers. 
Um, so it would be interesting. Let's see. I think these are hugging face based. Yeah. Um, so it is like built up on auto models, auto model class. So it actually accepts any kind of model. You just need to name the uh, architecture. Okay. Okay. So let's, would, are you open to looking at, you know, you may have the updated API. I bet you have the, the up-to-date APIs on all of this. So yes. let's check this out. I bet that if we combine the work that you did with the model transformers code, we would end up with the correct, like we would end up with an up-to-date version of model transformers. Um, so... Let's see. So this is actually a dependency for my college project. So oh, it yeah. might not be very well documented, but yes, it does. Well, I mean, it works. Like well, it the, works. the thing is, this is this stuff that we had here. Let's see. So I I just, so if you, okay, so so you, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, Let's see. It's mostly empty at this point. Like that's the yeah. That. So are you? Would you? So does it? It's so you're doing. Would it satisfy your requirements if you, like, updated the like for your college stuff? If you updated the model transformers code with the stuff that you have done here, and then use the model transformers code, or you do you have to have written like do you have to do this? Do you have to have it? Actually, it is, it is about ownership. So when I submit yeah. it, it should be like under my name. Okay. Okay. Um, so so I can uh, could, side by side side by side work on that as well. That's yeah, you could good. probably. I bet. I bet the stuff that. I uh, see. I can't remember what the hell the problem is here. Let me see. Let's take a look at the. Oh, you know what? It, update against four point zero. I'll run it again. Um, no, well, that's not going to work right now because GitHub Actions is not working. So, no, GitHub Actions is up now. Oh, it's back up. Okay, yes. well, can we run this test again? Uh, I guess I don't know. It's um, not like privacy. I don't think they can trigger it. You usually can say rerun all the test suite, but I don't know what's going on. So, anyways, yeah. I'm so I'm not sure exactly what. Um, I'm not sure exactly what needs to be updated here, but this is their their my I think it's similar, and I think you know it already has the, he's already done the work to do a lot of the DFFML integration, right? Um, so there may it would be if you have time it would be great if you could check this out and see what the what the issues are because i my guess is you're using the up-to-date version of um yes, yes yeah and so you probably have the right api calls and i believe the main blocker for us on this was no one had time to go through and update the old api calls to the new api calls um, and so you probably have the correct stuff but once again this this also isn't incredibly commented you know so we, you know, it, it's it's not going to be a walk in the park. Uh, but if you have time, it would be awesome if you could check this out. Otherwise, you sure. could, of course, just I expose the stuff I you already have, it. right? You know, you could just expose the stuff you already have, right, with the DFML APIs. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Um, other, other than that, I have two more things. One was, yeah. like... Uh, one of uh, those project videos which were pending to be uploaded. Yeah, I was hoping we could use. I was hoping we could automate it somehow. So if you get that YouTube thing going, then no, no, the project videos that that uh, GSOC project videos. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that's what I around. meant. Is I was hoping that we could basically have those somewhere. You know, take those from. I mean, I guess I just need to download in them and re-upload them. But I thought mm -hmm. in the future we're going to have more of them, and it would be nice if we had some sort of formal way of doing this. So, what what about them? Were you going to say just that we haven't up uploaded them? Yes, I was asking like when would we be uploading them? Like, yeah, I was going to do that like you know today or something. I I hadn't gotten around to it yet, but I need to just download them and upload them. Um, and I was thinking it would be nice to have some sort of place where we could put them and then you know just put all the videos and then they get uploaded. But I don't know if that's so realistic. Um, like maybe if we had. 
I don't know. I was like, I think I was going too far down a rabbit hole, right? Um, it would be nice if we could say like. Oh, man, I, I, I was know. just excited yeah. about that. Like everyone had those videos. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten a chance to do it yet. I just need to go sit at YouTube and then hit upload, upload, upload. <laughs> um, but yes. yeah, I exactly. had yeah. Um, it'll only take a minute, so oh. I'll do that and then I'll upload those. So let me just put that on my list of uh, things. So. Uh, other than that, like I just wanted to discuss the kind of cycle I am trying to build here. Is that like the, the what uh, cycle? PR, uh, uh, the contribution cycle, like every week I'm trying to mm -hmm. uh, come up with a PR. Okay, and cool. I would try to stick to it, but like uh, that sounds, uh, th does that sound good? Like, I mean, uh, I think that sounds great. Yeah, I think that sounds, that, that would be awesome. You know, I want to get, so let me make sure. Okay, so I want to get. So, so what I want from you here is like, uh, if you can like, th this week you assigned me uh, a, a PR. Yeah, more, more. Uh, more issue so, description and stuff, right? Yeah, sometimes it is like the example is lacking. Like it was yep. basically just maybe one triple two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure which which issue is what. Ex except Dict as well as features something that was it was in train. Yeah. High level train. High level train. It is one triple two. So uh, I might need a example there. So it just helps to clarify and like yeah. let me pick up something uh, every week. Yeah. Something small. But so it is like a consistent thing going on, going on. Yeah, and I know that I, the, a lot of these issues don't have enough information in here. So I think probably what we need is is we we'll probably need some kind of uh, you know sort of format. And I think what I've found to be successful, and I think it seems like when in our working together, what has been successful is uh, sort of what what should be the expected output, right? Um, does yes. that seem to work for you? Yes, yes, that okay. works perfectly fine. So like what should me... be the input, what should be the output? Yeah. Gives yeah. a very good idea to what, what to work so, on, how to work on. Great. So I'll try to make sure that when we have issues, it just has. Uh, so let's see, I'll put this under me. So. so, on, so. Or if you always have something like uh, something pinned or something assigned, uh, that would be also perfectly fine. Okay, this is great. Um, so yeah, I'll go through and I'll try to make sure that we have, so I need to spend some time um, doing that because I know that that will make it easier for all of you to pick up issues because um, I know that we have a lot of them that we just sort of write down quickly and, or I write down quickly and then they don't actually have enough information to go off of, right? So um, let's see. So yeah, we need, to, we need more info. So what should be the input and what should be the output? Um, and then go through... Uh, We'll go go through and um, let's see. Maybe um, mark issues as or label as needs more info um, and remove label from ones that have enough info. So basically, I'm just going to go through and blanket assign everything as needs more info, info and then I'll go through and I'll, I'll pick out the ones that don't need more info, you know, and then remove the, remove the tag, and then I'll work through the ones that need more info, um, you know, on an ongoing basis. So maybe I'll set a goal for myself that I should do like, you know, five needs more info a week. That would be that. And that way, you know, if you're trying to do one a week and you end up with, you know, you end up with a little bit extra time or something and you pick up another one, then you could you could easily grab another one. And then, you know, as other people want to do stuff, then they have enough information, you know, hopefully and they can pick up yes. them. Right. Okay. So, like things don't right. go linearly. Yeah. But, but no, this is great. Thank, thank you for bringing this up because, uh, you know, you, you setting a goal makes me realize, you know, I could set a goal for that too. And I think that's going to be a good way to, to burn down that backlog. All right. Two, two more things I have. Yeah. No, <laughs> always I, good. Actually, more things it, better. <laughs> it, it's, been, it's been a week or so, so a couple of weeks. So it yeah. has just yeah. accumulated. 
one was that we were going to uh, look into pr review some some source related prs were already pending from mm -hmm. some new contributors yeah we need to do that so so we were go going to go through that and another thing is that today we have avikant with us avikant i know avikant through linkedin and uh, he might be on to something avikant so, all right what are you do you want to give yourself a little in introduction yeah sure uh, so, uh, currently I'm in final year, uh, I have a little bit of experience in machine learning, currently I'm interning at HackerRank as an SD intern, uh, and previously I've worked on computer vision and uh, NLP, um, and, and core machine learning as well, so yeah, uh, interested to know more about this project. Cool. Yeah. Um, I have a cool project uh, for... Uh, Basically, an implementation of DC GAN from scratch. Of so, what? DC GAN? I explored GANs a bit. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm good with uh, general computer vision based projects. All right, great. That's very cool. Uh, we have something, what was it recently that was just merged? Oh, yeah, we did Sudhanshu, Sudhanshu's data flow, data flow pre process rename went through. And that was our first kind of like streaming source um so basically we dffml is is set up in a in sort of to assume that data is going to be streamed there's a lot of things that 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 end up reading everything into memory but all of the assumptions are based on streaming um and so things like I've, I've, I've been really looking forward to, to somebody like you, you know, joining us and, and being able to do some computer vision stuff because I think there's some really cool applications where we could, you know, work on streaming video like that where we should be set up to be able to do that. Um, so are you looking to maybe think about how you might implement, you know, take your implementation and then expose it via the DFML APIs and, and, and maybe do a demo of that for the doc site? Is that something that you'd be interested in? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Uh, I'll explore the repository. I've uh, went through the projects. Uh, I'm friends with uh, Yash Lamba, so uh, oh, cool. he told me about the, uh, about the repository, the project that uh, we have here. So, all right. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll explore the project and yeah, I'll try to make meaningful contributions. Cool. Great. Well, we're very, very happy to have you. Uh, that's awesome. So let's yeah, maybe uh, and we we why don't you. You know, it sounds like you're just getting familiar, so maybe you know, take some time to get familiar, and then uh, we could look at your DC GAN implementation um, sometime. You know, whenever you feel like you're comfortable, maybe presenting that. Does that sound good? Sure, sure, sure. sure. And and okay, so perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, that would be great. So I was just let's see, anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, right now, I mean, uh, I'm just getting started. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'll let you know if I have any questions. I'll be, I'll uh, put it in the data chat or something. Great. Great. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining. And and great. Okay. So let's see. Do we have? All right. Great. It's a, Here it is. It's a repository. I also made a, uh, a streamlit based web app. Uh, I'll drop the link. So uh, these are the best uh, results. Uh, in yeah, that Streamlit's pretty sweet. We thought about doing the web UI with Streamlit at one point, but it you quickly you quickly sort of run into a, a few problems when you're trying to do it at. Uh, um, it has you, a lot of limitations. Yeah, it has a lot of limitations. Exactly. Um, it's extremely awesome for <laughs> for uh, um, prototyping and 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 stuff like that. But then we were thinking, you know, okay, if we're going to do this as a full web app, we we have certain certain things that unfortunately Streamlit breaks those assumptions. Um, yeah, but I love Streamlit. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. So actually, the, the the chat app I was was to talk about was not a re rocket chat. It was revolt. It was oh oh yeah okay. <laughs> I just forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna I don't have my meeting here. notes. 
So let's see. So this is probably going to be extra blurry. Yeah, this look. This is, I think, uh, 128 plus 128. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Uh, they, look, they they don't really look uh, like faces. Uh, they are more like scary faces. Yeah. Uh, but I, I updated the model, but I didn't uh, update the screen width. Well, so, and like I said, this is a 4K monitor, so yeah, probably 120 by 120 is going to be extra blurry on this. But this is very cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. This will be great. This will be great. Okay. Cool. So yeah, let's definitely let's play around with this, and and maybe you could take us through the code sometime and and show us, you know, what you've been up to here. Yeah. Sure thing. All right. Great. Um, I'll put the link in here as well. Oops, that's probably going to give me the wrong thing. Huh? It's going to redirect me. Okay, so... Okay, so... Okay, so okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do these issues. I feel like oh, and you said it wasn't Rocket Chat, it was Riot Chat, right? Revolt, revolt. I have oh, dropped the link on Gitter. Revolt. There's so many. <laughs> Let's see. And is this one made based on Matrix? Is that this one or no? Okay, I just saw this one recently. Let's see. Have you looked at the Matrix stuff? I know that's more of a protocol, but uh, I know they have some. Let's see. Oh, this is great. This looks just like Discord. <laughs> I love Discord. I've used, I don't use it very much, but I found that it seems like they just really know how to do UX. Like the it, whole it is really well sorted. Like it is really very well sorted. This talking. is great. This looks great. Okay, so that sort of brings us to. Okay, let me just put this in the link. Um, Caddy, Caddy, I love Caddy. Have you guys seen Caddy? Caddy server? This thing is great. Um, okay, personal infrastructure. Possibly China project. Okay, so Caddy server. Man, this thing is sweet. Um, I'll paste the link in here, but basically it's, a, it's just a web server that does automatic HTTPS and you know a while ago that was way this was like sort of the first thing to do that but it's got it's pretty configurable and and uh yeah their old syntax was a little better but it's nice it's it, it can do a lot of little things for you very quickly um it's a nice little web server I'll just paste it in here for anybody what's that um Let's see. And this is usually, I like using it as like a tiny reverse proxy on small um, reverse. Actually, I had a project going where I was going to do this. Um, basically, it's, it's, yeah, it's nice as a reverse proxy on, for example, okay, so for example, with the project infrastructure, I have like a $5 DigitalOcean droplet that I run. And I think there's some, is it DigitalOcean? Somebody gives you credits for free. I think it's Heroku. Um, Heroku will give lot, you... A lot of um, there, like Linode would give you free credit for... But that is like valid for a month or so. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, has, it has its own terms and conditions. Yeah. So, and Heroku will give you like free credit for... Uh, but it's Heroku, so you know it's slightly different. But they basically, like, they'll give you... If you put your credit card in, your credit card number, they won't charge you but they'll give you more than a month's worth of hours on their like little app based infrastructure. And so that doesn't really, you know, that kind of, that can get problematic if you're, uh, you know, we'll probably need to run multiple services, but it is, it is good to, it's good, good to know about because basically you can run one app for free all the time uh, on Heroku, but obviously Heroku has its pros and cons. So, um, okay. So uh, I spelled that wrong. So the, the the cheapest is I guess AWS. AWS. But but when they, they give you the bills, you are really yeah. Really, well, I've really got. Confusing. I'll save you guys my rant on Amazon, but um, yeah. Uh, so Revolt. Okay, so let's check this out. And so so the other thing is so you know this is um pros. Let's do pros and cons. Um, 
so pros self-hosted so cons self-hosted um so what what draws you towards this over discord Microsoft might be buying Discord soon. Oh, there. Okay. Well, that's say no more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that, that's a joke, but like it, it's it's just like we might have more control in this way, mm -hmm. and we are after all like uh, you know bringing up embracing open source, so we should mm -hmm. use open source. Mm -hmm. That is the whole basis yeah. to give. I completely agree. Okay. So, um, yeah. So the, the benefit obviously is that we don't have to, you know, we don't have to self host self hosting, you know, costs money at the end of the day. Um, so, but the, but the, but yes, the, we can always, always use this card as well. That is yeah. Not in. Um, I don't know. Is there, is there, I know Gitter, Gitter isn't, has been annoying me lately. Um, Especially exactly. after like having it used... sometimes even don't even renders perfectly. Yeah, and it doesn't give browser. notifications, and yeah, it's it's a bit of a mess. Um, so and there's also this matrix thing. I know that this is sort of like a this is. I mean, I'm this is what have you guys seen this matrix thing? It's kind of like a, they have a. It's, they have like a protocol that's involved. Uh -oh. um, they have like this whole protocol and I think there's supposed to be some sort of peer-to-peer -peer aspect and stuff and they have a bunch of clients. Um, I wonder if this would make it so that we don't need to host anything. Um, I think oh. this can be easily connected with the, uh, with the existing Gitter chart. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can use it for bridges as well between chat yeah. apps. And that makes very complex usernames. Yeah, that's true. It does. So I wonder what this is and how this looks. Okay. Well, yes, yes. I've tried signing in into this, like, but it never worked for me. Never works, yeah. <laughs> Not surprising. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Meet now has a limit of one hour. We would run out of it. Yeah, we're minutes. about to run out. Yeah, that's the other thing is we probably need something that will let us do video because this is becoming annoying. Um, Jitsi. Choose a room. On the, yeah, Jitsi. We tried that at one point, but it was kind of... Um, it was kind of flaky. Um, so what, what happens here? Click filter rooms. Now I can't tell how to add a room. Is this what essentially happened to you too, or filter rooms? No, I never got into this login. You never page were through, able to get in. The login page. Yes. I think this is some kind of peer-to-peer -peer thing, which you know is attractive because there's less hosting involved. Um, but uh, you know, obviously, this is not. Um, I have no idea what to do with this. So <laughs> it doesn't really help much. much. Um, uh, there's no rooms. Okay. Yeah. So this is kind of, I think we've ruled this out. Um, you know, I mean, this kind of issues are mostly with the open source stuff that we yeah. have very poor UX. Yeah. And for the same reason, you know, I asked Devesh to join us because, you know, having yeah. a good UX actually uh, so important. leads into usability. Leads so into usability. If we end up ignoring it till the end of the uh, beta release or alpha uh, yeah. one, 1 1.0, but that are like very important. Oh, what is this? This is a really cool uh, service. So they provide uh, free NoSQL database. And uh, they also have this uh, micros. Uh, they have this service called micros. Mm -hmm. So you can deploy Python or uh, Node.js apps. Uh, oh, cool. I think it's completely free, I think. Nice, nice. This could be really cool, yeah. Um, so let's see, what do they got? And it's completely free. Let's see. Yes. I wonder if the so. The database is completely free, I guess. 
they have some plan but uh, i think that's for the company but for individuals uh, they provide everything free okay interesting um yeah this looks cool uh and there well it looks like they're using discord <laughs> Um, let's see. I've seen a lot of people using Discord. I had to see, I'm kind of hesitant to do the self-hosting just because, uh, it, it adds, adds another headache. It adds really? another headache. Yeah. I just, and, and I've, I'm, I've held self-hosted infrastructure for a long time. And, and sort of the thing that I always come back to is it's really, it's one thing to self-host and it's another thing to self-host. It's something that's secure, you know? Um, there's just like a lot that goes into making something locked down, um, especially when we're looking at this like open source setting, you know, um, we could do it, but I would want to make sure that we define all of the infrastructure in, 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 in the Git repo, you know, um, which means that everybody's going to know exactly how everything is deployed so that all of us can make changes to it, which means that it's going to be really obvious if there's any security holes. Um, so I, so, so that, that sort of, yeah, anybody, anybody would be able to look at the config, right. And see if there's any holes. So that's kind of what's been the biggest thing on, on, I think, you know, not self-hosting so far. Uh, we, I'm definitely good to switch to, to, I mean, I, I would say I'm, I'm down to switch to discord, you know, uh, if that's, cause I think this re revolt is very, I mean, the UI is very similar to discord. Um, we could always, uh, yeah, it would be really great. You know, I'll look into it. I'll look into the stuff that I have. I have some digital ocean automation and I'll just even see. Even if it is discord, it is like perfectly fine. Yeah, it would be. Even I do. GitHub is owned by Microsoft. Though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so let's say I'll put, um, so I'll look into um, infrastructure. Um, this is something we need to do eventually. Sure. Um, I, yeah, I think this is really interesting. Um, okay, so look into digital. One another concerning thing, which which might not sound very concerning, yeah. is uh, use of uh, deep faked code, like uh, sort of the copilot thing. Have, yeah. have you used it? No, I have so, not used it. So what happens with it is like it does not respect any licenses. Yes. Oh, so, so you're saying so, how do we so, make sure so, that that stuff doesn't get into our repo? Yes. What uh, happens is like if we uh, if someone uses it and uh, someone else's code is so so I you know what what I I actually tried doing that. So I was writing the logging part for my that YQNA project, mm -hmm. and uh, there is one another uh, project called Darts before which we even had one integration PR. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So so they have a logging module as well. So I just took their uh, a doc string from there and pasted in my <laughs> code just to see what, what this uh, copilot does for that. And it actually brought me the same code which they have. So uh, with the same naming and everything. Uh -oh. so, so such things can uh, sometimes can end up in uh, you know, sticky situations where we don't want to copy the code from other yeah. uh, kind of licenses. So it could be a violation. So okay. So and I know there's this BASA thing, but I don't know what else we could do. Have you seen anything else that might be helpful for that? No, but I just wanted to bring in your notice. Like okay, uh, it it doesn't work very well. Like yeah, it is, it, it is just dumb. But but it it uh, you know is very good at copying. Such it's very good at copying. Yeah, I've heard a lot of complaints about this. Um, Okay, interesting. And I think we're about to get kicked off this call here, but I think that, so next meeting, okay, and, and I also, I have to do some stuff internally when I do a release that scans for violations. Uh, however, to say that that is comprehensive is is, uh, is an understatement, or it is not comprehensive, uh, or no, it would be an overstatement. So um, I, it would be interesting to keep an eye out for this. Thanks for raising that, because uh, we definitely want to keep an eye out for that and see if there's any tools we could leverage to make sure that we don't end up with that situation. Um, so yeah, so we'll look forward to, you know, whenever you're comfortable presenting some of the, the code for the GAN stuff, 
that would be awesome. Uh, I'll go label issues. I'll look into the DigitalOcean infrastructure stuff. I have some stuff. I've, I've been working with Kubernetes um, as an orchestrator for the Dataflow stuff, and, and I'd like to I'll, I'll show you guys about some of the stuff I've been working on there at some point. Um, and then we'll do some code reviews. And uh, let's see, you got we got feedback on this. Um, anything else that we should think about for next time? Um, oh, I'm going to post the recordings. Yes, and, and whenever you find time, take a look at my, my messages. OK, yes, and yeah, I, I will get back to you on that. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of, if you want to get into Linux kernel stuff, I, I have done Linux kernel development. I just was doing that. So I, uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to. Yes, that, you know, that, that's why I asked you. Like, yeah. You know, I, I saw that you are in the clear Linux team and also. All right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you some stuff. Sweet. Well, thanks guys. Uh, it's great talking to you both today. I'm glad, sorry, we had uh, some time off there and, uh, you know, I will get back on the regular here and, and, uh, pick up the pace. So cool. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you so much.